Yeah, hi guys. So let's look at this question here. Uh, good question, very good question. And this kind of uh, concepts are used a lot in numbers and algebra. Okay. So this question says that that uh, we have the values here like ones to n. Okay. And the sum is triple y. So I need to find the value of n plus y from here. Okay. So first of all, you should understand that what is the what is the significance of triple y here, है ना? So whenever we have something like triple y, that means triple y means all three digits are same. It's always a multiple of thirty-seven and three. Okay. So thirty-seven and three is always a multiple of triple one. Uh, triple y is always a, always a multiple of thirty-seven and three. For example, triple one will be equal to thirty-seven into three. Triple two will be equal to thirty-seven into six. Triple three. Will be equal to thirty-seven into nine, है ना? And this will go like that, right? So it's always a multiple of thirty-seven and three. So what I can what I can what I can write here is so now here we have got triple y. Okay, so it's it should be a multiple of thirty-seven and three. Now if you observe here, so in all this, so I can write this the triple one. I can write as thirty-seven and three is triple one. So I can write triple one into one. So triple two, I can write as triple one into two. Triple three, I can write as triple one into three. The same way, the triple y, I can write as uh, triple y will be uh, triple one into y, है yeah, ना? So triple one into y. So I can just break like this, right? So let's write that right here. Yeah. So one to n sum is what? So I can write as one to n sum as n into n plus one divided by two will be equal to triple y. That is hundred and eleven into y. Correct. Now n into n plus one. So actually, this kind of things you should observe, no? Because uh, n into n plus one is always a product of two consecutive integers. So n into n plus one is a product of two consecutive integers, right? So you got to think in in that perspective now. Two consecutive integers, correct? Now, if you write here n into n plus one, guys, so you can you can observe that uh, that n. I I can this n can be now, so I'll obviously whenever I write n into n plus one, product of two consecutive integers, one all one will always be even and one will always be odd, right? So this one will one will always be even, okay? So I can just write that any one will always be even and any one will always be odd, you know, even into odd like that, okay? So now. Uh, if you observe here, so let's try to put let's try to put a uh, triple two into y, and let's try to factorize n near it, right? Now you got to understand that triple two can be factorized in uh, in two or three ways, right? Okay, for example, n into n plus one. If you break it, it becomes thirty seven into two into three into y, and yeah, because triple two is thirty seven into six, that is thirty seven into two into three. So I need to keep one number as odd and one number as even. So obviously, the two things will come into mind here, uh, your mind here. First will be n into n plus one will be equal to. Now again you want we want to keep one even and one odd. So one odd case will be thirty seven into three triple one. So that n that one odd will be triple one into two y. And the other case you can think is that like n into n plus one will be equal to thirty seven ah uh, into two uh, is seven yeah. So I can just keep this thirty seven here and then I can keep six y. So again in both the cases. a uh, one number here is odd and one number here is even one number here is odd and one number here is even now that means the value you are trying to say that the value in the first case the value of n will be around triple 1 and if i compare one is even one is odd so value of this uh, uh, n plus n will be around triple 1 So now can n be, n or n plus one be around triple one? Okay. So now it is not possible. If you observe that, for example, uh, let's say I I am solving like this. If I am solving one to sum till hundred, है ना? So the sum of one to hundred is hundred into one zero one by two. Now that will be five thousand five fifty fifty. That is some. That is five thousand something, right? Now it is it is triple y here. Triple y is a three digit number. So when triple y is a three digit number, it cannot be five thousand something, no? It cannot be five thousand something, right? So it's a just three digit number. That means if I add n hundred and above hundred, the number will be very big. That is around more than five thousand. That means these this this case is not possible. N cannot be around triple one. N cannot be more than hundred or even more than sixty seventy, right? N has to be lesser value. So only possible case is this one, no? That n will be around thirty seven. Correct. 
Now when n is around uh, n, now I, I need to see that which value will go. So obviously in that case n will be 37 or n plus 1 will be 37. So obviously n plus 1 will be 37 because in that case if you take n plus 1 as 37, so in that case n will be equal to 36. Take care. And when n will be equal to 36, you can compare the other thing here that n will be equal to 6y. That means 36 will be equal to uh, 36 will be equal to 6y. Uh, that means uh, y will be equal to 6. That means n equal to 36 and y equal to 6 satisfies. So we are required to find the value of n plus y that is equal to 36 plus 6 becomes 42. So 42 is the answer for this question. Okay. So a good question, very nice question it is. Okay.